Hey DJ, this is Holden Dress. We spoke on the phone briefly yesterday. Uh, you told me you probably wouldn't watch this video and that you were trying to care, but I'm going to try and give you a reason to care. Uh, basically, I want to show you a few things that you can do that you can improve the amount of traffic that's going to your business. Um, and in this video, I'm going to show you, you know, how much traffic you're actually getting to your website versus that of your top competitors um, and a few ways to beat them out. So I'm not going to waste your time here. Let's go ahead and jump right in. I have this tool called SEM Rush. It basically shows me how much traffic someone's getting to their website and why. And uh, we've got your website compared here to two of your top competitors in the area. Uh, it's this Gabriel's Tree, Tree Services and Flora's Artscape. And it looks like you know your website gets about zero people to their website a month. So uh, you're not really getting any traffic or business through your website at all versus your top competitors, this Tree Care LA gets about 248 people to their website a month and this Gabriel's Tree Service is getting 79 people to their website a month. So, you know, they're, they're collecting a significantly more traffic and if you're able to steal a fraction of that traffic away from them, that'd probably result in a lot more customers and money in your pocket. Um, so, I, I'm gonna basically go over exactly why they're, they're getting that much traffic and like I said, a few ways for you to implement some things yourself to actually start getting some of that traffic. And that's kind of why I like to make this short video because it shows people you know a few things that they can actually do and start seeing some results um, and it's really resulted in a lot of business owners just coming back to me and asking asking me for help so let's go ahead and jump right in um, I got your website up over here now when it comes to Google optimization the first thing Google looks at is content they see about 1500 words of content as the efficient optimized uh, website so let's take a look and see how much content you actually have on your page you only have about 475 words of content on your website so you're falling short significantly of that 1500 that Google really likes right so if you're able to boost that up to 1500 or even 2000 I think you'd be you know doing a lot better in that aspect additionally when it comes to content Google wants to see what we call keywords keywords are basically anything that someone searches for in the search bar to find you um, you want to pick buyer intent keywords that means things that you know people are going to be reaching out to hire a contractor right away so uh, an example of a non buyer intent keyword would be this right here tree removal Los Angeles cost you know that these people are just looking for they're doing their research they're not ready to reach out a keyword that's buyer intent would be emergency trees service you know these people are having an emergency they're ready to reach out to a contractor right now they need they need their help someone's help so when you're picking those keywords you can see some recommended ones here and even at the bottom of Google of things that people are searching for just make sure you're picking the ones that are relative to your locations that you want to target and as well that they are buyer intent um, over here this is called the Google map pack this is basically one of the best ways to get traffic to your business uh, if you don't have a Google my business already uh, make sure that you get one it's a free tool that Google offers and this collects about 70% of the traffic that of anybody searching anything in this bar up here. The remaining 30 kind of falls down here and dwindles away as you get to the bottom. So to get up in this map pack, you need to get a Google My Business and get your name, address, and phone number into as many directories as possible. These are things like Facebook, Yellow Pages, and Yelp. Um, the more of these directories you have, the better. The key is consistency across all of them. If your information is is different in any aspect as far as your business hours, you know, the years in business, you know, you, the name of your business, your phone number, Google will seem, see that as confusing to the customer and they'll deduct you authority points. So you need to make sure that you are keeping everything consistent when you're building out these directories and you can start collecting some of the traffic by ranking up here in the top three. This area, like I said, is collects kind of the remaining 30%. Um, nobody really goes to the second page of Google. You, you basically, if you're not on the first page, you're missing out on any any traffic at all. So to get onto the first page, you need to go out and get what we call backlinks. Backlinks are basically links from other websites linking to your website. Um, these can be directories, these can be other websites of people that you know, or they can be you commenting in blog posts. The key is that not all backlinks are created equal. So, you know, there's a score over here that kind of ranks these links on their authority power out of 100. And that's based off of you know, how much traffic, how popular the website is, how relevant the content is to your industry. So when you're going out and finding backlinks, make sure that you're picking ones that are relative to your industry. Um, now we're going to go back over to SEM Rush. This is where I showed you how much traffic you're not getting to your website and your competitors are getting to their website, right? Um, and we're going to see exactly why. So if you look over here, they have about 179 uh, websites linking to their website 4,000 times. Uh, 140 
54 websites linking to their website 490 times and you have actually 78 websites linking to your website 268 times um, but these links are probably not very relevant they're not super powerful and that's why you're not really getting any traffic and in addition you're only ranking for five keywords on your website versus this company's ranking for 224 and this person's ranking for 68 so Google is only matching your website with five keywords that people are searching um, and they may not even be you know keywords that are relative to your industry uh, they could just be branded keywords maybe people are searching for your brand name and that's how how they're finding you so actually it shows over here so yeah you're not really getting found for branded keywords either so but if you were able to make those small changes man I think that you'd really start seeing some more of the traffic you'd be able to collect some of this away from this guy uh, you'd see this number go from zero to at least you know a couple of people so I, I hope this was helpful if you'd like to chat some more please reach out um, if not that's totally fine too uh, if you're not against it leave me some feedback uh, in the you can do that by email or giving me a call my information is in the email um, but thanks again for taking a chance to, to watch I'll talk to you later